When Chinese astronauts made the first spacewalk outside China's new space station, Scott Perizinski watched some of it, and it brought a smile to his face because they seemed to be having fun. They were laughing, they were enjoying the experience. Perizinski knows a little something about spacewalks. So about a 90-foot boom that I'm perched on the end of here. The retired NASA astronaut flew five times on the shuttle and walked in space seven times, primarily working on construction and repairs to the International Space Station. On one mission, four spacewalks were needed, totaling more than 27 hours. To those of us watching, it may look easy, but just the act of grabbing a power tool, Perizinski says, takes effort. Working in space is physically and mentally taxing. You're in your own personal spaceship uh, that's engineered around you. So you have this big bulky suit. You've got electrical batteries you know, in, in your backpack. You've got oxygen tanks. You've got carbon dioxide removal, lights, cameras, tools, a jet backpack. The mantra this veteran spacewalker lived by and shares with those venturing outside for the first time is this. Slow equals fast. In other words, rushing leads to mistakes and understand everything about the job you're about to do. The advice that I share with every uh, new spacewalker is to not only understand how things are supposed to work, but understand how they might break and then to have in your head, if not in procedures, plans for how to deal with it should it, um, should it break. And above all, take the opportunity to gaze down at the Earth. First off, I would tell my Chinese spacewalking colleagues to, to savor the view, uh, to look down every once in a while. You'll see the Himalayas, the Great Barrier Reef, uh, the Bahamas, and you'll be blown away. Spacewalking is no walk in the park, but Perizinski says being outside in the void of space, looking up at billions of stars and looking down as the earth below goes from day to night and night to day is the ultimate astronaut experience. John Zarella, CGTN, Merritt Island, Florida.